flying saucers are real. So when a colleague who works at the Fredericton Region Museum, who was a friend of Stanton Friedman's, contacted us and asked if the Provincial Archives would be interested in acquiring this collection, we were immediately intrigued. So from that point on, it was pretty straightforward. We talked to Stanton and discussed the procedures um, for acquiring and cataloging the records. Stanton signed, signed the donation form with the stipulation that he didn't want any restrictions on access to the materials. He was very clear on that. He wanted everything to be made publicly available. From that point, we just bring the records in and start going through them. Simple as that, not simple. I'd like to say simple as that. There was really nothing, there's nothing simple about this process. Stanton Friedman spent actually a lot of his life in Fredericton. He moved here with his um, wife, Marilyn, and he stayed here for several decades. He absolutely loved Fredericton. In several of his journal entries, I've read that he enjoyed going to the market um, to get orange juice, and he would drive around to go to Tim's, and he loved the summers here. Stan was an avid researcher. I think a lot of people see Stan and other ufologists and, and um, people who believe in flying saucers as these uh, just conspiracy theorists in general, but Stan spent years, decades of his life in libraries and in archives and on the internet doing all kinds of research into people and places and um, he was also an academic. He had his master's, he was an astrophysicist before he got into lecturing about flying saucers. So his, um, the whole lecture circuit and the research that he was putting out was, um, it was informed. Uh, one letter that I, I think is my favorite so far, and we've looked at hundreds, was from a 12-year-old boy in the UK who was uh, part of um, a group, the name is escaping me right now, but it was just an interest group, a local interest group. They're dedicated to the study of, of life on other planets. And this uh, young boy is writing to him saying, will you please, will you please come and speak at our next meeting? And by the way, I might have misled you in my first letter. I'm a 12 year old boy. Um, we don't have any money. We, we can't pay you to come here at all, but will you, will you please come because um, I, I love you and essentially you, you are my God is what he <laughs> says in the letter. And I just cracked up and I would love to know if Stanton did ever go to that group. It wouldn't surprise me if he did, if he happened to be in the area anyway. He traveled the world giving these presentations. So one of these days I might just take it upon myself to see if that group still exists and find out if he did ever go. But the, the affection for the man just rings through all of these letters. It's really quite remarkable and special. <laughs> 